hi to any of my viewers. Like maybe there's like I see seven of them, but I don't know how many exactly watch any of my videos. I'm sorry it's been nine months since I've recorded anything. It's just a lot of things have happened. I've lost family members. I've been busy with my family just with like medical visits um, and I've been doing some volunteering with them so this uh, <laughs> it, it's not a bad thing volunteering um, especially if you know I get to spend more time with them as I volunteer um, and I get to know a little bit more about what they've been dealing with gladly though both of them well any of them tell you the truth haven't gotten what's that word I had it on the tip of my tongue none of them have gotten Alzheimer's so or nor dementia I mean my grandmother gets a little bit paranoid every now and then but <laughs> that's just the way she is she worries about us a lot um, okay so start off with it's actually March the 18th 2017 um, Happy New Year everyone uh, a lot of has changed all right including a very special it's in my new phone case I gotten it over the holidays well wait I think I had showed this before because this is actually yeah I showed this before never mind that's not new um uh, but this is sort of new. Very interesting water ball that just flipped. You have a little thing on the side that can lock it in. If you're traveling and you don't want it to, like, open just so all of a sudden. Oh, and you can click it to your backpack. Right there. So it's kind of cool. It will come in handy. This video is just to update everyone on what's been going on. Um, as well as, uh, I have a new story. Now, there has been some debate on what the next story should be. I mean, I have a Christmas one I haven't put up yet. But it's not really a Christmas one. It's more like a uh, Christmas holidays kind of one. Anyway, straight to it. A little longer than the rest, but uh, bear with me. <clears throat> well, not, not uh, okay. There you go. Just come off. Just pause the video anytime if you're not caught up on reading. Or if I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. I'm just getting through them. <laughs> There you go, and there.
just a little bit. Just making sure it's best. <coughs> okay. Me. There's these at the end, by the way, just in case you haven't. I can't read it. My writing gets a little. I've had a bad hand for the past couple of months. Well, past two months. So my writing is messier than it used to be. I'm still writing, but... <clears throat> Just let me know in the comments if anything's all twisted or messed up here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing the right order. Well, actually, I know they're in the right order. It's just I'm not sure. But I'm not doing two cards at once instead of the one card at one at a time. See what I mean? I nearly did two of <laughs> us. This is what happens. I haven't been keeping up with how many of these short stories I've been doing, but <clears throat> it's because I've done additional short stories that I just put aside for a rainy day. Um, and it's not raining, so uh, now is not the time for the stories. Uh, but I can say this. Um, lately, some of my ideas have kind of gotten mashed up and... I've actually gotten two options for a beginning. <clears throat> I 
I'm not ashamed of how far I've gotten with these stories. I'm not going to say that it that it has, you know, like gotten carried away or anything like that. But my main characters are very uh <clears throat> They're not very, how do I say this, charismatic? I mean, you've got one that has an awful, well, she has a great beginning at first, but then it just turns awful, and it gets worse and worse. But then, you know, she gets adopted, and things turn out different from there. Kind of complicated. I'm not going to say that she's normal, because I don't like using that word to describe a person, because it's just, um, yeah, the word has kind of been decreasing in my vocabulary lately. Uh, I don't use it to describe a person, because everyone has, is weird one way or another, has some sort of um, nuttiness to them. It's like... <clears throat> It's like saying that there's only, you know, like all fish are goldfish, or um, all dogs are Labradors, when you know very well that there are different breeds. Same thing for people. They're, that kind of trait, it's just, it's been used so often to say that, oh, I just want a normal life. That kind of makes sense, but... <clears throat> The thing is, I only would use it to describe my day, as in saying that, yeah, I had a normal day, you know, go, getting up, going to class, schoolwork, coming home for lunch, and after that, um, yeah, that's, yeah, I would describe that beginning as normal. I'm not going to say what would happen in the afternoon, because that right there can be... It can, anything can happen. It gets spontaneous after that. I'll get a call from a family member. I'll have something else that has been, oh, we're going to do this after. Oh, um, you know, I got the day off. Let's do this. And I'll get texts and stuff like that. Or I'll start, <clears throat> like, I'll go from getting the right supplies and finding that recipe to cook a really good meal or I'll get a spark of motivation and like ah I can write this and that's kind of just how it works oh by the way this new setup now that's gonna be permanent I no longer have the office job um, and I have been dealing with a lot of things so everything's gonna be dealt with at home. I don't have an office because this place has not enough rooms for an office. Um, also, <clears throat> I had found this. I'm going to show you what was written on it because it's kind of ridiculous and silly. This old freaking Scooby-Doo pad. I used to be a fan. I used to absolutely love them and now I have them. I can write anything I want now. Like, well, it's just an, an extra pad to write on. And I had found these. I would found them. I used to write, I used to tell my stories through these. And wanting to put them together and wanting, to, and one of them actually has just music on there. <laughs> I am one of those people that will record music somehow and keep it, but I haven't found out which tape it is that has the music on, otherwise I would listen to it and find the songs later on for my iPod. Um, another thing that I've been so happy that I got to see includes... I'm going to get this closer. You recognize her? She's from Finding Dory. Now everyone would say, oh, it's just a kitty movie. It's a child's movie. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's not. It's really not. It's, it's quite... It, it's for everyone. It's one of those movies that has a lot of issues that we deal with nowadays. And it also shows you like from a child's point of view. And from the point of view of a family that isn't perfect, but it fits. 
nonetheless. And I love it. I absolutely love these Disney movies, especially the new ones. Some of the new ones that have come out have actually turned out to be really good, really special. Uh, Moana, no romantic entanglements, but she's still so cool. And it's great to see that kind of a duo together, you know, like a very narcissistic, you know, egotistical demigod and a kind of, well, how do I, how do I describe her? Me. <laughs> she <laughs> reminds me a lot of me. I, I would do stuff like she does. Like if you're driven to do something, you just want to keep going toward it and, and you keep looking over to it and being driven toward it and being pulled toward it. It just, you can't stop. <laughs> um, I've been asked in a couple of places for work. One of the places includes maybe possibly handling a project. But right now they're just getting stuff together and... I don't really know what's going on. I'd have to go in and actually ask them, which I'll probably do tomorrow. Um, yeah. Uh, it's crazy though. Um, because I do have a class in the afternoon, and it's a long class, but it's also important. Because once I get there, <coughs> I don't. I just sneezing on camera. Uh, it's natural. Me sneezing. I'm not allergic to anything. There's no dust. This is actually pretty clean, as clean as it can get, and. I have a different kind of setup, like I have my screen here and the laptop's here. The display screen doesn't work on the laptop anymore, so it has to be pushed toward here. And then there's another one that can get connected through here, but I have to find the part, the right connection for it. Um, yeah, this is a long video. I shouldn't make it so long. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all for today. Um, I guess I'll keep you updated. Uh, and as for the whole relationship thing that's been going on, it's been less and less. Can't exactly explain what's been going on. It's just, I'm not going to say it's complicated. I'm going to say it's like we're becoming more distant. So there's going to be days where I'll seem happy and excited, or I'll be just tired and kind of, you know, seem like I'm going to fall asleep right during the video, which will happen. I mean, even though I don't have a job yet. I have been busy, and as you can tell, I've got a little bit of a cold. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this with a cold, because I don't know if you can, if anyone can understand me. <laughs> it's like I could say something like, um, uh, like I could have had this whole conversation turn into something completely different. Like you guys probably could have heard something completely different, like me saying that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Like, uh, I love my car, I love my car so much, I've named it, or something like that. Which I haven't, by the way. It doesn't have a name. Uh, although, if I had a motorcycle, I would probably name that instead. Oh, um, another thing. Happy Easter. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy, uh, Mer Merry Christmas. I hope everyone's having... A great New Year's so far. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of have off and on, but that's that's typical for me. This is 
that's nothing compared to what I've gone through last year and the year before that. And now that there have been a lot better things going on, it's it's been more positive nowadays. You know, I'm spending more time with my family. I'm keeping myself, you know, like stable and happy and um I also encourage everyone, if you're still into writing, if you're still into being creative, go for it. If you're being bullied, stand up for yourself every now and then. The rest of the day is just don't react because that usually is what they want. Every time they'll push you and push you, they'll want, they want you to react. So there's some days when you don't feel like reacting, don't, don't react. But other days it's like stand up for yourself. If they tell you that... You know, they're making fun of you just because of some ridiculous reason, like you have glasses. I'm nearsighted, so what? Oh, and guess what? These glasses actually look cool because it looks like I'm wearing a mask at the same time. And also, you can't tell if I have a, if I have this pair or a different color of eyes. So it, I, I don't know. It's just I got picked on a lot, and I know that this time of year, you know, people get a little nuts. Uh... Also, the biggest thing I would end this video is with is, um, yeah, I should sleep more. <laughs> oh, oh, the reason why tomorrow is a big day is because there was no school on Monday, but I have school like every other day, and tomorrow I find out if I pass my exam. It's a big, big deal for me because I, it's not that I need it, I need, I would need to study more. It's more as if, if I understood the content, if I knew how I was, um, responding, how well I was responding and writing things out and everything. It's just, it, yeah, it's complicated. It, it's not that, it's, it, it gets complicated. That's how I'm going to describe my life right now. Complicated. That and, like, my education, life, career, choice, love, everything just is complicated. And I just stopped crushing on a certain YouTuber because of a choice he had said that he was, that he thought, I mean, they shouldn't have done this for an overrated, underrated kind of thing in the first place. That was just, this kind of thing is a serious serious business everyone has an opinion on this one although when they talked about other things you know like you know music or you know like is this person overrated or underrated you know and it's like oh this person's this way and and then they when he pointed out that he thought that you know people who dye their hair was um overrated and his friend who dyed dyed his hair pink i think in the video yeah he just basically <laughs> attacked him, tackled him. What the? <laughs> that, I get. I know that he's joking. Because when I dye my hair, I dye it just to, you know, add a little bit more spice on the top of my head. Uh, I mean, the next time I dye my hair probably will end up being closer to purple or closer to blue. So... Uh, so yeah, that's it for the video today, guys. Now you got my opinion, you've got my status, you've got updated already after nine months of nothing. Um, and everything is different. You probably recognize some of the background with uh, sofa that I used last time when I was just getting myself ready to go to the airport. I had most of my stuff ready. and That's usually what I do, but I was trying to keep things updated and remind people that I still want to keep doing videos. I want to be doing more videos like this. It's all personal. It's all straight up. Nothing is edited. So, alright. Thank you for watching.